Welcome to Introduction to Video Security System, VSS Fundamentals, brought to you by Pelco. This course is a guide to the basics of any video security system. This section will cover an introduction to types of VSS cameras. At the end of this course, the learner will be familiar with the types of cameras used in VSS. At the end of this section, you will be asked to complete a few assessment questions. Cameras are the main tools in a VSS system. The right camera in the right location is the goal of every successful installation. The main consideration for indoor applications is generally a black and white camera with 380 TVL of resolution. When selecting a camera, it is important to consider low light conditions when high resolution conditions are required. The camera should also be standard have a manual iris lens, and a standard mounting device. The main difference between indoor and outdoor applications is the need for auto iris lenses and camera housings. The auto iris will allow for day-night lighting differences. The setup procedure for outdoor cameras includes the use of AGC as well as back focusing of the camera and lens combination. High-resolution cameras have the ability to display any image in better quality by increasing the number of dots per inch or increasing the number of pixels per inch. High-resolution cameras have either a manual or auto iris lens and have 470 to 570 TVL of resolution. The high-resolution black and white cameras work well in low-light conditions. Low-light cameras can produce a picture at extremely low-light levels, some as low as 0.00001 foot candles of light, starlight conditions. Lux is also a measurement used to determine light levels. Low-light cameras use an auto iris and NEMA 4X housing. Special application cameras are used in diverse areas. Applications would include covert, underwater, reverse video, explosion-proof, and pressurized cameras. The resolutions for these cameras range from 330 to 380 TVL and can operate with a manual or auto iris. Monochrome cameras are typically referred to as black and white because video image they produce is in shades of gray. Only black and white CCD cameras or new day-night cameras have the ability to utilize infrared lighting. Black and white camera lines of resolution range from 470 for lower resolution cameras to 570 for higher resolution cameras. Even without infrared lighting, a black and white camera will perform better in low light conditions than a color camera equipped with a comparable CCD imager, lens, and quality of manufacture. Color generates 25% more detail than black and white cameras and this increased detail helps when trying to properly identify an object or person during a security event. It has 470 lines of resolution. The main difference between a black and white and color camera is the CCD chip. Color cameras are 1.5 times more expensive than black and white cameras and require 1.5 times more light. Two different systems are used to produce a CCD color camera, the single chip and the three separate CCD imager systems. The wide dynamic range imager can see both light and dark objects in the same scene. The chip's processor then determines the optimum exposure, pixel by pixel, essentially acting like more than 350,000 individual cameras. The result is a higher image quality and a significantly better dynamic range than traditional CCD-based cameras, 95 to 120 decibels. The wide dynamic range imager is unique in that as light strikes the imager, the image is converted directly to a digital signal. In other words, the technology digitizes light at the point of capture in real time and each pixel determines its own exposure time on an individual basis, instead of each operating at the exposure time demanded by the average brightness of the entire scene. 
a situation that can result in bright areas being blown out and dark areas being underexposed.